okay so now we will directly into the arm registers okay while we are going on to the microcontroller while we are seeing from microprocessor to microcontroller the number of register is get increasing we have seen that bank registers in 8051 big microcontroller is also having bank register so similarly here also arm have totally 37 registers i think uh, so you can see that arm having totally 37 register among 37 registers 31 are general purpose registers okay six are the status register what is the length of arm processor ma anyone tell what is the length of the arm processor length of the arm processor yeah muttamil shelvi is trying to say tell me ma arm 7 processor length 8051 every time i have to go back and come 8051 you no know answers from anyone my god 8051 how many bit microcontroller ma it is how many bit microcontroller ha huh? 8 bit ma yeah good aruna 8 bit uh, good aruna devi uh, pick microcontroller pick 16 of 877 8 bit ma 8 bit okay arm 7 processor 32 ma very good excellent excellent uh, aruna devi it's a 32 bit processor are you clear ma 32 bit so you have to understand here totally 37 registers are there among that 31 are general purpose register and we are having six status register so in that 31 general purpose registers only six registers are available to the user not all the registers only 16 registers are so what about the remaining uh, 15 registers and all now that 15 register is mainly used for speed up the process so speed up the process are only we will use so if i if the user want to use only they will use 16 register so people were in waiting room what time they were coming ma'am okay so we are going to see about two status register and the two re status register these are the two status register cpsr and spsr okay cpsr means current program status register and spsr na saved program status registers okay so you have to understand that we are were saying that totally 16 registers only available to the user among that r not to r13 r the word they will use orthogonal registers what is orthogonal registers means any instruction you can apply equally to the any one of the register for example i am using a add r not comma r1 similarly i can put add r uh, add r2 comma r13 so r not to r13 r see waiting room see how the people were uh, doing uh, still they were joining at while i am taking the attendance 81 students will present so no more uh, time will be given see another two pranjit and balashankar okay i lost time i will give the instruction okay so you have to understand totally how many registers are there ma 37 registers are there or among 37 31 is general purpose register six are the status registers and all are 32 bit registers because arm 7 processor is 32 bit processor so it is also all are 32 bit among the 31 reg general purpose res register 16 is used for user okay and 15 is used for speed up the processor okay now we are we are mainly the status register two status registers uh, totally we have six status, uh, status registers are there so two uh, status registers uh, current saved program status register and saved program status register okay so so mainly we are going to focus only 16 registers because we all know the 16 registers only the user going to be used 
okay so 16 registers uh, the r not to r13 i told you it's a orthogonal register that means the instruction i can you apply to any one of the register i can replace it for another register all can be used as a same thing so add r not comma r1 i can put or add r uh, r3 comma r4 also we can put so among that the some uh, set of r not to r12 will be a general register very specifically they saying that r13 is stack pointer okay R14 is link counter and R15 is program counter. Okay, so you have to understand that. So totally 16 registers are there. What are the 16 registers? Ma, R0 to R16. Among that, R13 is stack pointer. You all know stack pointer will always point out the memory location. So it will always work on the principle of um, LIFO, last in first out principle. And the new name is uh, program counter. We all know it always holds the address of the next instruction. But the new word is link register. Link register is mainly to link the subroutine. Uh, whenever the subroutine is used, at that time we will use this link register. The remaining and all common. So you have to use the word R not to R thirteen R orthogonal register. Orthogonal register means what, ma? I can apply the same instruction to all the registers. So totally sixteen registers only. We are going to use. Use are going to use only sixteen registers. So we are going to see about what are that sixteen registers and two status registers only about that. So sixteen registers means in the sixteen registers R not to R thirteen are orthogonal. R thirteen is the stack pointer register. R fourteen is a link register and R fifteen is the program counter register. Okay. Next, we are going to discuss will be. Uh, we are going to discuss all this will be totally. We have discussed that thirteen seven registers are there. So we were saying that only sixteen is a uh, visible token. They are saying uh, some bank we have only one status register. So that's why they are saying totally seventeen is. Visible. Okay, so the same point only they saying orthogonal means any instruction that you can apply to equally to any of the register. That is the meaning. So I can put add R not comma R one R two or add R five comma R six R seven. So I can use all these things. That is orthogonal register. The same point only they have they have explained. Okay, so in ARM we have a three instruction set I can use. One is ARM instruction set. Another one is Some state instruction set, two instruction set. I you, you can use ARM instruction means all instructions are 32 bit wide. Okay, some state instruction means some state instruction means the some state are 16 bit wide. Are you clear, ma? So uh, actually, we will use JASL also that I will give you separately. Okay, ARM seven, ARM register. You have seen this. All this R not two. R12. It's a normal register. Okay, I can use R. Uh, same thing only given here. R13. SP stands for what, ma? SP is what? Start pointer. L R. And uh, uh, PC. Program. Program counter. Program counter. CPSR. Current program status. Very good, very good, ma. So same thing only we have listed out. Okay. Now the same data they have only given. Okay. Now we will uh, give a we will enter into CPSR. How the CPSR will be there? So two status registers only that CPSR and SPSR. Okay. Uh, SPSR we don't have any format. It is a 32 bit wide. Who is man traveling and attending the class? Shiva Subramanian. Shiva Subramanian. I removed Shiva Subramanian. See, we were the host. You people, what we were doing, we can understand. Hmm? Riding on a bike and attending the class. So you have some multiple personality with you during the class only. You will execute that. You will listen. You will walk. You will go somewhere. Uh, you will do your own work. You will eat. Eat is also okay. That I can accept because you are in home. You will feel hungry. Hungry. Going out and all. How we can do, ma? 
cps are having four field okay so each field is 8 bit wide okay so 4 into 8 how many bit ma 32 bit so cpsr is 32 bit register okay so it also resides in the register file you have to accept, you have to attend that uh, what are the four field now one is flat field another one is status field and another one is extension field and another one is control field okay so mainly you have to know all this are the four field okay so here what is control field shanmuga now only he is coming control field control field only we have we have seen in the syllabus modes processor will operate in the different different mode okay so that will be decided by the cpsr so cpsr will mainly for to select which processor mode it has to work user mode or interrupt mode or faster execution mode so many modes are there that we will see in the next one okay then interrupt uh, mask we all know interrupts means uh, what are the interrupts were there ma uh, we will say according to the priority will be there only nor else we will say maskable interrupt or else we will say non maskable interrupts are there so low priority interrupts will be there so depending upon that we have a interrupt mask facility will be in the control bit okay so control field contains the mainly contains the processor mode state and interrupt mask bit okay so these are all given that then the flag field flag field contains the conditions of the flag so conditions of the flags we will see um, n z c v only we have seen four flags n z c v n is negative flag negative flag means what my msb bit is one is one means we used to say it's a negative number so that will indicated by the negative flag zero we all know the accumulator content or our resultant operand content value zero na zero flag will set carry flag whenever it exceeds 32 fit carry flag will so overflow flag so overflow mainly the result only causes for signed overflow this is for unsigned carry okay so signed addition we will use unsigned addition we will use the carry flag that is the only difference between carry and overflow okay so this is the thing so i i have told you that um, uh, q is the saturation Uh, so mainly for uh, overflow and all they will use i interrupt request disable fast interrupt request disable see interrupt and all we have studied only maskable non maskable interrupt now it comes into the picture that interrupt request fast interrupt request also will be there okay so that is also will be we have seen na ift interrupt fast interrupt request okay j actually J means I told you JASL instruction set. Mainly Java code will be used, and T will be thumb instruction set. Okay, so what is the difference between all that? Now JASL means only eight bit instruction set will be available. Thumb na sixteen bit instructions will be available. Uh, ARM processor na it will obviously goes into thirty two bit instruction. So CPR SR is one of the important register organization. Are you clear? This picture is very much important. ARM registers, okay, R not to R thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What is the purpose? And the next one is CPSR. CPSR means you have to understand that only we are explaining control and uh, the flags will be here. So control it will select the modes as well as interrupt and it mainly for uh, JASL or a thumb instruction set. And this is mainly for the conditional flag. Okay, so in current, we, we didn't speak about status and extension field. Why not? This is reserved for future use. They didn't use the status and extension. We don't have any coding. So the remain sixty-two bits they allocated for the future use, and only they have explained the sixty. I got irritated by you people, ma. Mm. Okay. So next one is SPSR. What is SPSR, ma? Can you able to hear my voice? Saved program status register. Ah, uh, saved program status register. You have to understand that depending upon the user modes of operation, the particular request will be arrived to the processor, and this SPSR 
SPSR na saved program status register will come on to that mode and it will be working. Okay, so the current process editor is SPS is from CPSR to resume back because you all understand that the user mode is common mode. So to come back to the resume mode, that will be copied into the saved program status register. So I told you there are three types of instruction set. Actually, uh, in our syllabus, we don't, uh, we are not going to study any one of the instruction. So you have to know what are the instruction set is available. ARM instruction set, thumb instruction set. JASL instruction set. These are the three instruction set is there. Only depending upon the length of the instruction set, we were classifying three types. Okay. Now one of the important point that is nothing but modes, processor modes. Actually, this is only they have explained modes and states. Uh, they have given a user FAQ, IRQ, supervisor, about undefined system. Okay. So we have seen that what jagan coming late and raising your hands and all seven seven uh, uh, processor modes are there okay are you clear so first user user means it's a normal program execution mode normally the processor will work actually you understand that a pig microcontroller and 8051 microcontroller don't have this processor mode that is one of the main advantage of the why it happened, Chantar Leka? Always um, going and coming back. Okay, so processor mode is not available in uh, PIC microcontroller and 8051. So you have to understand that we have a six uh, processor modes are there. User, FIQ, I told you, if I want to tra transfer my data high speed, at that time, they will uh, use this mode. Okay, so high speed of the drive. When you seen that in a, a pen drive and all, uh, floppy disk or uh, some hard disk and all, if I want to transfer my data very fast, so automatically what happened now, this particular mode will be enabled. IRQ, interrupt handling, general, general purpose interrupt handling. So this particular mode always put in the processor. It always looks for the interrupts. So whenever the interrupt, I told you maskable, non-maskable interrupt will be there. Low priority, high priority in the interrupt will be there. Slower interrupt, faster interrupt will be there. So depending upon that, it, this particular mode will be work. Then supervisor. This supervisor will protect the mode of the operating system. We have seen that uh, this particular ARM7 processor mainly because we all seen it's uh, the processor is uh, developed first by Acon computer and slowly it is developed by using Apple and all. So when you see Apple watches, Apple laptops, Apple mobiles and all, they are using this ARM7 processor only. Okay. Then a bot. A bot is nothing but a, it is mainly for a virtual memory protection only. They will use this particular uh, processor mode. Undefined processor. It supports software emulation and hardware coprocessor. Yesterday I have explained you uh, something that uh, JTAG will be there. Joined text action group and in circuit uh, emulator will be there. So during that particular mode only, this undefined mode will work. So if I want to check or if I want to debug my uh, processor or if I want to design my um, uh, processor in a PCB board and all at that time undefined processor will be done. Then system runs privileged operating system task. Runs privileged operating system task. So whatever operating system I can able to, what are the privileges given the particular operating system task only, it will evolve. So you have to understand this is one of the very important modes. You we are not going to see about uh, the modes. Actually, modes now only register file files they will classify. So normal program mode, high data transfer, interrupting mode, then uh, protection mode for uh, operating system, memory protection, and mainly for the software emulation and uh, hardware coprocessor and uh, run privileged operating system task. Okay, so same thing only I have given. Both are same only. Okay, I think uh, you will see that uh, register organization. So we have seen that R not to R thirteen. All are orthogonal register. Apart from that, R thirteen, R fourteen, R fifteen. What is CPSR ma? Current program saved register. Okay. So you have seen user, FAQ, IRQ, SVC, undef, about. 
so here you have seen that uh, user is a normal system faq for intra what they were saying na speeding of the process and this is for interrupt handling and uh, svc for the supervisor undefined uh, is nothing but for software emulation and abort for the memory access so apart for this this six uh, six modes we have at six different thing i think uh, this figure won't help you this you can understand that so user mode only i will use all the register so faq that is fast uh, data transfer or uh, interrupt handling or memory organization memory protection and all you have seen in this what are the register they will use ma r18 to r14 so spsr so you have seen all this contains spsr saved program status register so after completing this what the spsr will do it will get the data from cpsr and it will finally come back to the user mode that is user mode after completing this all will come to the user mode so you have seen this so all registers commonly consisting of r13 this diagram you have to necessary so i think this diagram is uh, somewhat complicated for you uh, leave it because uh, they have uh, explained the remaining registers and all i think this is use easy for you now you have to definitely draw the modes of the diagram of this are you clear ma so all the register all are consisting of stack pointer linked register so stack pointer will always hold the memory uh, position and linked register is mainly for the Uh, subroutine programming come back to the uh, main program or return to the subroutine and all link register will be used so you have to draw the modes of operation what are the registers are involved in that that you have to know okay now i think um, okay next we will see about the Uh, arm 7 architecture i think arm 7 architecture is uh, uh, one of the important question so far we have seen what question ma rt so far we have seen what question tell me ma bharat you came late na you already studied about arm 7 processor bharat yes ma'am yeah what question we have discussed so far Do not mark where he went. What questions we have discussed so far, ma? Pranjit, Pranjit, am I correct or not? I am pronouncing correctly. Pranjit. Pranjit, hmm. he switched on and went somewhere. So how the people were uh, behaving? Shanmuka, Shanmuka. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. What ma question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Who is saying yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Bharat, ma'am. Bharata. Bharat, okay, he is sitting in the room. Now he came out. Tell me, Bharat, I'm what question we are discussing? Huh? What question we are discussing, Bharat? Register, ma'am. Register. Register organization and, and modes and. Mode. Okay, register organization. Actually, we have discussed two questions: register organization and modes and states. Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. I am asking question, not answer. now we are going to see about arm 7 architecture okay so this is one of the important uh, uh, another important we all know the architecture is always plays a important in each and every time you people also this time you explained expected this question okay so you all understand arm 7 is a 32 bit risk architecture okay and 32 bit arm instruction set will be there or else i can use 16 bit thumb instruction set okay and you have to understand that how many registers are there 37 registers are there among that we will use only 16 general purpose registers and two status register so the size will be small uh, die size only and low power consumption and we have a full static operation 
we can interface the coprocessor and i told you one two important features uh, which is not uh, uh, in the um, uh, 8051 actually uh, 80 pic microcontroller having this ice but uh, 8051 don't have this facility embedded icu in circuit emulator and on chip jtag okay so joint extraction group so this are the two you think very much important so you have seen that uh, it can use 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit databases why ma why it is using actually it is a 13 bit microcontroller but why it is using 8 bit micro all the registers are 32 bit uh, registers then why it is using 8 is 16 and 32 bit ma now only shriram is coming ah huh? tell me ma anyone tell why it is having three different data types here why it is having three different data types why it is having three different data types pranjit pranjit if anyone is not answering i will remove from the class that will happen now ha huh? pranjit is not transferring so we will remove pranjit so he is not listening that's why he is can't able to answer at least unmute and what he is asking i can ram kumar ram kumar yes ma'am balaji without mic how you are attending the class man i am removing you balaji there is no microphone symbol then he can't be able to uh, hear what i am saying even uh, the video symbol is not there okay you, uh, you you need not to switch on your video but you are not getting microphone symbol na ram kumar tell me why it is having 8 16 and 32 bit data type ma how many instruction set are there how many instruction set is there ma how many type of instruction set is arm arm processor is supporting three ma'am three arm instruction set how many bit ma arm instruction set how many bit 32 bit ma'am 32 uh, thumb instruction thumb instruction set 16 bit jasl 8 bit that's why here also they are specifying 18 16 and 32 bit data types are available are you clear ma okay so yes, we all know uh, pipeline architecture okay and von neumann architecture and seven modes of operation is there okay and very low power consumption and because a million instruction per second per watts so a simple structure okay and a less power consumption ratio so these are the main highlights about the arm 7 processor okay so again i have explained about uh, three basic instruction you have seen that 32 bit arm instruction 16 bit thumb instruction and 8 bit java byte code used in jasl street okay so now we were going into the arm processor the architecture of arm processor okay actually the time is 1141 okay we will move on okay so while we are moving on to the arm processor uh, mainly you have to know uh, what are the thing is that arm 7 we are saying it is using von neumann model only okay so only single bus will be used to von neumann model means what single bus will be used for both the data and instructions as well as for address so both the data and address we will use the single bus only but arm 9 we have a separate bus okay and one more thing here 
in while you are going for uh, advanced processor we have a advanced micro controller bus architecture i think uh, can able to advanced microcontroller bus architecture that is amba okay in that amba we have two thing one is high speed bus okay advanced high speed bus and another one is advanced system bus the both are same only the third the second one is advanced peripheral bus so you have to understand that while we are going for the uh, pipeline or concept so ad arm you will always use the advanced micro bus architecture amba amba or arch bus architecture in that amba we have a high speed bus or system bus or advanced peripheral bus so peripheral we have a separate bus architecture and for system we have a separate bus okay so that they are say, stating here okay and arm um, what are the architecture for format ma definitely architecture should consisting of alu everyone will listen it's one of the important question booth multiplier okay we will see separately barrel shifter control unit and all the register files how many registers are there ma totally we have 37 registers are there only 16 registers are general purpose registers and two are the status registers are you clear so we will know only about 18 registers okay so the remaining registers will not be used for a user purpose it is mainly used for the speed up the processor so arm processor consisting of alu what is alu unit consisting ma anyone tell ma what is alu unit i think this is the thing what is alu unit anyone alu ma it performs logical and arithmetic okay. ah it performs arithmetic and logical operation so alu unit consisting of that uh, alu operation along with that it consisting of the working register or the uh, primary register along with that it consisting of the status register that is my alu unit okay then the next one is multiplier multiplier means we all know multiplier means what ma mainly for the multiplication so we all know multiplication will not be easily happen in a processor it will take so here we have a separate part for multiplier okay and barrel shifter barrel shifter means uh, if i want to rotate our uh, instructions and all we have a barrel shifter i think this two part is not available in both uh, pic microcontroller and 8051 so booth multiplier and barrel shifter so booth multiplier for multiplication process multiplication we will use barrel shifter for rotating that we will use okay control unit control unit means what it always produce the read and write signal it has to be always synchronized with the other buses to perform all the read or write operation okay then we all know 37 registers of 32 bridge okay in addition to that we have a program status register okay and uh, instruction register will be there then uh, priority encoder will be there okay so uh, program status register we have seen the two program status register one is current program status register and another one is saved program status register and we all know instruction register is mainly for decoding and encoding process i will use okay similarly memory data memory read uh, write register memory address registers we have these are all related with the memory then priority encoder priority encoder mainly for load and store the instruction only they use the priority en encoder are you clear ma so loading lda we will serve na load load means uh, processor to memory we will move and uh, store in sense means processor to uh, processor to sorry memory to processor we will do so that kind of load and store process will be separately done with the priority encoder okay so i told you barrel shifter what is the purpose of barrel shifter ma it's a one of the important two mark question what yeah, is barrel not... shifter okay so barrel shifter means it will shift your data it will mainly for shift your data without any sequential logic uh, only pure uh, combinational logic only it will do 
why we are using the word without any sequential logic which uh, sequential logic device is used to shift the number ma anyone tell in digital which sequential logic device is used to for shifting yeah tell me ma sequential logic devices universal register yeah registers will do did you remember or not uh, tell me what are that counters will do then serial in parallel out register parallel in serial out registers so all sequential logic only device use the uh, shifting but barrel shifter using pure combinational circuit they are shifting okay so whenever i want uh, uh, bhavani now only she is coming or else she inside the class so here this particular register is not uh, shifted but when i am taking this particular register it is shifted to the barrel shifter so barrel shifter is mainly for any i i can rotate from left or right i can do then that particular number will enter into the alu unit so barrel shifter mean it will shift a data okay the same way i have explained you both are same only okay now booth multiplier the next important term is booth multiplier so the multiplier means you have to nikileshwar actually nikileshwar is inside the class ama okay see so we are going to multiply this three numbers and this is my output data so this is start so whenever i want to start my operation automatically and similarly who is 45 whenever my output output pin goes high after finishing so multiplier we have a separate uh, uh, part we have a clock we have a accumulator everything so i can do all my uh, multiplication here i can do three bit multiplication multiplier has three bit inputs so all the inputs comes from register 5 we all know r not to r13 will be or orthogonal registers will be used and r14 will be the linked registers and r15 will be the program counter you understand this is our architecture diagram you all understand that the next diagram will be in detail so how many arm 7 is how many pipelines will be there my arm 7 processor three how many uh, three pipelines very good fetch decode execute so fetch means it will fetch the instruction so fetch the instruction na pc will comes into the picture program counter so what the program counter will do na it will always hold the next instruction of the address so the address register program counter will comes okay what the decode unit will do ma decoding what the decode will do this particular in uh, operation will decode all the instructions so to decoding all the instruction whether i want to uh, do what kind of operation i have to take it from register bank to uh, primary register or primary register to register bank or else i have to add the data all the decoding will be done using this uh, part okay separate decoder and control execute execute means execution so execution we have arithmetic and logical unit separately barrel shifter for rotation and uh, uh, multiplier for multiplication so alu bus alu bus means arithmetic and logical unit bus will be there okay a bus a bus is nothing but address bus will be there okay so many uh, okay a bus means uh, address bus will be there b bus is nothing but you all know system bus means always denotes that three bus will be there address bus data bus control bus you all understand this is common for all the processor controller and all address bus data bus and control bus control bus is responsible for read and write operation address bus it always hold the address of the bus data bus will always hold the data can you understand or not so here we all know address is also 32 bit and data is also 32 bit 
you can see here uh, 0 to 31. So how many bits ma? 32 bits. Data also you see 0 to 31. That means 32 registers. So here data in will be there. So we have to do all the decode and control we did in specified here. To understanding purpose, we have put the separate uh, for decoding and control. This will comes into the decoding part. Then data out register. So after all the operation, the data in data out registers will be there. Okay, this is nothing but a write operation. Data is out now. We are going to write somewhere. Okay. So you have seen that this is a ARM 7 architecture, same diagram only, but I have given uh, there to understand fetch decoder, same diagram only. You have seen that scan control, control unit will be there, instruction decode and control logic. So you have seen that instruction pipeline, whether I have to use the thumb instruction decoder or ARM instruction decoder will be there. Okay, and this is entire will be ALU part and this is for decoding part and this is for fetching part. I think this is the ARM7 architecture. So students, uh, actually uh, almost uh, the third unit is get over. So tomorrow we will see some applications and uh, uh, question uh, discussions in uh, third unit and then we will move on to the fourth unit. Okay, and uh, Pandya Rajan, are you present today? Pandya Rajan, register number 60. Not 60, sorry. Pandya Rajan is absent. Okay, anyone is friend of Akar Singh Ma? Akar Singh friend, no one is here. Huh? Hiroki Jodhisan. Hiroki Jodhisan. See, listen, ma. I, yes, Hiroki Jodhisan kindly informed to oh. Akashing. Okay, are you clear, ma? So, please, uh, one of you are informed oh. to Akashing and another one informed to uh, Ajit Kumar. I think uh, Dinesh Kumar, will you inform to will you inform to Ajit Kumar, ma? Will you inform? Dinesh Kumar. Ma'am. Uh, will you inform to Ajit Kumar? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So please understand register number one, two, four, five, and six. On uh, Thursday, you are supposed to prepare three slides, not uh, uh, the PPT should not be increased to upon three slides. You have to prepare three slides and you have to present the applications. Are you clear, Ma? And the next one is next Monday. Next Monday, uh, B section starts from which roll number, Ma? Which register number? Vijay Shri. Daji, ma'am. Huh? 48, ma'am. 48, ma 48, uh, 48 uh, that, uh, yeah, Tyagi. Okay, so listen, Ma, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 is there. Who is 52? Who is 52, ma'am? Jan Basco, ma'am. Jan Basco. Okay, leave it. I am not going to include. Uh, 48, uh, Tyagi. 49, Vijayshri. 50, Mahalashmi. 51, Jay Prakash. 53, Moganapriya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you have to prepare on Monday. Are you clear, ma? So, you prepare any one application. Don't think that it is a time waste. I will give assignment three on Monday. In assignment three, you have to, your part B question is your application of embedded controller. Are you clear? So, you can uh, take the application of microcontroller or you can take the application of uh, 8051 microcontroller or PIC microcontroller or ARM7 processor. It should not exceed three slides and you should not exit five minutes of speech are you clear so half an hour for taking class and the remaining half an hour for presenting that are you clear ma everyone have to present and you have to keep with your uh, you have to use shanmuga now only see akashing how clever he is i am uh, asking someone to inform him and he's uh, cleverly joining by 11:55 uh, no okay. No, no ma'am, I informed him just now, actually. 
that's why he's no, coming no, i have just informed him ha ah, okay that's why he's coming ha ah. i inform you to come here now wa i inform you to take the class on thursday that is the information okay so october 1st all you prepare well and uh, one more thing tomorrow onwards i will enable my uh, class are you clear or not so i will enable my waiting room whoever come late i will remove it and whoever not answering my question i will remove today shiva subramanian went outside taken his vehicle and going outside without muting and uh, one more pranjit i have called so many times he didn't reply for me see even at you issue you can unmute and you can talk to me but he is not responding he is not unmuting himself see now uh, the hiroki jodhishan have talked he has some network issue so we can't able to hear, hear his voice uh, continuously that is not all acceptable but not uh, uh, in the class going outside coming late to the class only for the attendance this will not be entertained are you clear ma you are in final year see i am asking you to take now if you are going for any uh, placement and all uh, if they ask any applications and all you will you, that will be useful i am thinking over that and i am giving for you people so see varsha varsha who is varsha ma whether she is inside or not who is varsha whether she is inside or not ma anyone tell or else we will ask her her itself okay so so important thing you people have to understand that kindly inside the class okay so tomorrow we will uh, discuss some arm applications we'll see some question papers and one more time uh, tomorrow the day is wednesday okay so i will give you the kagoth quiz so the kagoth quiz is in exclusively from arm processor on that day i gave from pic microcontroller and today i will give from arm processor so to do to tomorrow Uh, this will be the thing we are going to discuss and today i will try to upload the third unit ppt actually i have uploaded a pic microcontroller ppt so today i will upload the arm 7 processor ppt okay so you can refer it and you can prepare for the kagoth quiz okay and uh, today i will see the attendance one is present two is present three is present four absent five absent six present seven present eight present nine absent 10 present and one more thing tomorrow i will release your marks can you able to see your uh, quiz marks ma anyone tell yes ma'am yeah yes thank you ma and uh, one more thing tomorrow i will release your uh, marks can you able to see the i have done some annotate in your uh, uh, answer sheet can you able to see that have anyone seen no you didn't beat a visit lms jay prakash no ma'am i have opened the lms ma'am but i did not went through the pdf ma'am you didn't go through that pdf okay so tomorrow i will uh, release the release your marks okay you can able to press see 17 is absent ma'am uh, 18 19 20 21 is absent 21 ma'am for Deepa... internet issues ma'am 21 she's uh, reconnecting Santa. again and again okay okay ma'am ma. see if you have any problem you tell me ma'am Uh, but uh, kinding of uh, switch on the mobile and going somewhere else not listening to the class and all will not be encourageable if you want to study this three processor you have to take three books uh, microcontroller you have a separate book pic microcontroller you have a separate book arm 7 you have a separate book 26 27 28 is absent divagar is absent today Twenty-nine percent, thirty percent, thirty-one absent. Bala ji ready. Thirty-two percent. Thirty-three percent, thirty-four percent, thirty-five percent, thirty-six. Jagan coming always late to the class. Jagan, what you are thinking in your mind? I don't know. Forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight is always absent. Forty-nine, 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 forty-nine
he won't he don't want that five marks and all 52 is all absent john basco he is also most of the time absent see we were taking daily actually i will take from a attendance report will be there but even for this kind of issues only we are taking 55 and banu prakash is absent 56 is absent ma nandini m is present nandini m nandini m is present 56 nandini m actually she is now only she is coming who is that kirti hmm. 57 58 59 60 nilo for join in a correct time are you clear ma 61 pandi rajan absent 62 63 64 pranjit das i only removed him still now he is not joining so you understand that he will come at 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock ma'am 56 present ma'am photo ma 65 okay, 66 67 is absent okay what happened to him ma Rahul Singh, so many days he is absent. Seventy, Lakshmi is absent. Seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three is absent. Charanya is absent. See, while well, you are saying repeated one, seventy-four percent, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two. Sneha, Sneha is absent. Am I today? Yes, ma'am, absent. Okay, Lakshmi. Now only she is coming. She is rejoining again. Eighty-two perhaps in eighty-three percent, eighty-five percent, eighty-six percent. Sundar Raj attend the class uh, yesterday. You have answered very well, but today you are coming after fifteen to twenty minutes. What Sundar Raj? Uh, yesterday only I think about you very well, and today you are doing uh, coming late to the class. So you understand. Every day I will enable the waiting room. Don't do that kind of activity. Varsha, okay. Varsha is present, ma. Varsha, now only she came. Absent. Da. Vinjay, Vinoba, Shanmuga, Shanmuga, you too. You too are not uh, attending the class correctly. Network issue. Seven not two. Maunika. Ah okay. yes, ma'am. Network issue will start by first ten minutes of your class. Huh? Then after that it will be resolved. Maunika is absent. Maunika absent na? Izad is absent. Vijay Kumar is absent. I think uh, stop recording.